holding now Shleishim Yankar Machag, almost a little bit more than two weeks. The Noshim Sitkaniyas are definitely being margish, this, they're feeling this more than we are, but it's Nagia to us also. Chad Pesach, Zman Chayrusenu. What is Zman Chayrusenu? What is Pesach about? All know the Zayar, Maimar Kadmainim, the Jewish calendar isn't. The, the timeline is not a timeline, it's not a line. It's not that historical events happened in the past and history moves on and we're now holding in the present and there'll be a future. But rather, Kadmainim tell us that the calendar is a spiral. Every Nisan is a Zman of Geula. Ben Nisan Nigalu, Ben Nisan Asin Ligoel. Pshat is that the Rebbein Shalom puts into the time a hashpa, and different times of the year are sugal for different things. Every El is man tshuva, every Tishrei is man of din, every Sukkis is man simcha, every Shavuos is man kabbalah satera. Purim, it says, the Gemara tells us, Lashana Abba, a year later, Chazal were keveya, Purim is a yontiv. Why? It took them a year to see that the hashpa, that it wasn't just a one-time event, but rather there was a hashpa that came at the time. We don't just create Yom and Taivim, but rather we see that there's a time, a hashpa that comes in this time, and that's what a Yom Tev is. Pesach, Zman Chayrusein. It's a time of Geula. Benisan Nigalu, Benisan Asidin Ligoel. We will be redeemed in Nisan. It's a time that's Mesugal for Geula, for redemption. Coming now also, Ben Azmanim, all of us, Baruch Hashem, B'nai Teira, no matter what we're doing, whether we're actually able to sit and learn 24 hours a day, or even if we have to go out and do other things for Parnosa, but we're all B'nai Teira. And the calendar of the Ben Teira is based on the Yeshiva schedule. There's a Ben Azmanim coming up. Could I first understand what is Geula? What does it mean, Geula? One of the animamins, Bias HaMashiach. What do we want? What are we asking for in Bias HaMashiach? Rambam, the last Rambam, end of Yad HaChazok in Hilchaz Malachim. Le'in nis'avu ha-Navi'im v'achachomim yimeis ha-Mashiach. The Navi'im and the Chachomim didn't desire yimeis ha-Mashiach. Le'in k'day she yishlu tu'al kal ha'ilam. Not that they should rule over the whole world. V'le'in k'day she yidu ba-gayim. Not that we should rule over the goyim. Not that the Goyim, the nations, should make us great. Not to eat, drink, and be merry. But rather, for us to be free for Taira and Chochmas HaTaira. And there won't be anything to stir us, there won't be anything to disturb us from Avedas Hashem. Uva Eisi Hazman in that time lay Yeshom lay Rav v'lay Mulchama v'lay Kinnah v'Sacharus. There won't be any famine. There won't be any war. There won't be any jealousy and no competition. Shateva Tiu Mushpas Harbe. There's going to be this outpouring of good. V'chol Hamadanim Mitzuyin Ka'afer, and all delicacies will be found like dirt. V'lay Yeshe Kol Ha'Elam Al Ladas Is Hashem Bilvad. And the whole world will be busy just trying to understand, to know the Rebbein HaShalom. And at that time, therefore, will be great Chachamim. That is what Geula is. Chazal tell us, Ein ben chayrin alamisha isik batera. Chayrus zman chayrusenu. Comes through isik hatera. Eisek Atera, I feel in the time of Ben Azmanim, that is what real Geul is about. Avada, we have to help out, we have to do what we have to do. It's also a time to rejuvenate. But we have to keep this in mind, is that the Iker of Zman Chayrusenu, and the Iker of Geul is Eisek Atera. And the more we have a Shaykhist to Rebbeinu Shalom, the more we have a Shaykhist to Limur Atera and to Eisek Atera, that is how we are redeemed. Achad Koshe V'Sameach.